Hello everyone, so in this video, let us talk about one more problem from lead code. The problem name is minimum moves to convert string. Okay, so the problem statement states that you have a string S of N characters, as you can see, and these characters are either X or O. Okay, X or O, as you can see in the input as well. Now in one move, what you can do is that you can take three conjugative characters of this particular string. And in that scenario, you can convert all these characters to O. Okay, you can just take out any, like, like any three conjugative characters and like you can do this particular move multiple times you can just take any three conjugative characters and convert all of them to o if they're o it will not be changed you, if they're x's they're converted to o you just have to do and convert this complete string to o's in medium number of steps so you can see that this is a string that is xxx it is converted to you just take a three conjugative characters that is all the three and just convert it to o's and that's it one step is required so that's the whole problem now how you can do that you just have to do for such problems, just take a few examples and it will become more clear to you. Uh, so let's take an example that we have. Okay, let's say, uh, let's take an example of x0x x. and also like 0xx. X. Uh, okay, let's take this and uh, let's take this. Yeah, let's take this as an example. Now what you can see is that for this as an example, if I take these to be consecutive, still I can like, I can make them zero. This is already zero. All term will become zero, but I have to again do one more, uh, like you can say range conversion to convert this as a zero as well. But what I could, could, could have done is that I have just taken this range and converted all of them to zero, which means that taking the maximum field is a good idea, but this is not always like the thing is that is not always the good point. The thing is that. If I, if I take this and let's say if I take this, let's say this is also X. If I take this and if I just if remove them or like don't take it, then I have to take this. This has more X's, but still I have to do this range conversion because if I don't do this range conversion, this X will be left. I have to convert all the X's to zero, which eventually means is that if I take any range, okay. If I take any range, the starting one, if it is X for any range, okay, I, if the starting one is X, I have to take that range and all the other ones should be converted to zeros. If they all already all are zeros and just leave it. If they are not, then we have to convert them in simple terms. I cannot shift this particular interval to the next side until the first character of this interval is converted to O because if I just leave this, if I greedily choose or move my interval to the next half, just taking out more X's, then that is not good because this X is left. And thus I have to make my interval such that I want to make my interval such that the first character of the interval should be equal to X. If it is equal to X, I can just convert all the other characters also to, you can say zero, all of them are converted to zero and we move forward for the next interval to find out. And thus you have to just find out the first, whenever you find out the X, whenever you find out X, you will just make an interval from that particular point. Just leave anything. Okay. Just leave everything. Wherever you find out, you just do a for loop over this. Wherever you find out X, just make an interval starting from that particular X and just three characters on the right hand side of it. Because I have to take that character, convert it. So it's better to just greedily take that particular character on the very left of the interval and just do all the other three on the left, right hand side to convert it to O's. All of them are converted to O's. E even if like, this is just like this, which means that even if, uh, it is like this, X O O X X X. Okay. I cannot just, okay. This is good that I convert this to X, but I have to also convert this to also zero zero because it has zero. Okay. Now, if I take this range or this range, doesn't matter. It's just better to take this as a range because that's ensure that I'm taking this and also converting all the rest on the right hand side, which is covering more characters. So it's very simple. You just have to, uh, just do a for loop over this whole string. If any X of I is equal to X, then you just convert this I th character to O i plus one to o and i plus two to o, which means that the, all the three consecutive characters uh, just have to ensure that these three should be inbound. They should not be out of bound and just convert it to o and just keep on doing this for loop for all just ensuring that all the uh, x's are gone throughout this whole process and the end just total number of uh, like total number of steps that you have done or total number of moves that you have done to do this type of operation. Whenever you do this operation, just increment the total and just put down the total answer. That's it. That's all the logic and the code part for this problem as well. If you still have any doubts, you can mention in the gun box of this particular video. I will see you in next video coding and bye.